hello guys welcome to this uh, training and today we're going to learn uh, PZ lab so this is an introduction to PZ lab and um, what we're going to basically will be learning how to um, sorry I mean the environment of PZ lab so when you load PZ lab in the first place in the first um, this is the, where you arrive so this is your first uh, this is how it should look like forget the mouse the mouse I connected my own mouse to my own smartphone so it is in an OTG you can also do the same so um, what we have here when you load by default is select your text so first of all we're going to learn the environment let's click elsewhere so that nothing is selected so um, we start at the top so top here the plus icon here where my mouse is changing to a hand um, that is your um, insertion uh, point when you click here you can insert text current date stickers um, um, shapes and the uh, images from galleries and then you can draw okay so this one is safe when you click save you can save as either project or as image and then the next one here is share button where you can share your work to anyone you want to share so i'll be putting my network off because it's disturbing uh, that's it so guys um that is that i'm going to how do i cancel this i'll just link save to gallery so that it gets out so this one are the favorite quotes from top people that uh, pizza lab has decided to add them in case you want to use them for anything you want to use so that's not my focus and then this one is your menu where your uh, menu where you can uh, click and see more options available to you to, to do by default so you can be operating um you can be operating pz lab you can use image from gallery that, that is import by default and then start editing um whatever you want to edit so you can just click here and then go to downloads and i don't want something so you just click any of this and then it open by default so you can click square or you can click any of this why is it not working what's going on okay so you can import you can start from here um blink and then bring in an image so this is square this is uh okay so the mouse is not uh, taking effect there so we use my hand so this is where you can decide to click on square and then you crop it squarely and then you can import it okay so when you import let's delete this text even though by default that is how it's supposed to be so um you can start editing your picture from here so you can either choose to do it with full screen and this is how it looks like that is um meaning preview you understand you can just clean that to preview your work and how it's going to look like when you export so let's go back then you can clean here and then you can use your camera and then snap somebody and then start editing immediately you can also export your image using this instead of the save button okay instead of this save button you can just say export image so now um but save basically is actually for you to save for future um, references and you can open the plp file and then share it with someone and all these things so contact us send the report box you know what that means tutorials and how to use remove ads recover auto save that's maybe your you were working and then it unexpectedly close so there should be an auto save you understand so plp these are the list of things you have designed using pz lab so you can see all these works have been done using pz lab so guys that's what it is and then uh, about i don't need to explain that so here down here we go down so these ones are templates where if you come by default you want do you want to work on just a plain default background um, based environment or you want to 
um, open this with a texture at the back or just some transparent some gradient feel or whatever you can have this fast graphic 3d so all these things are just fast graphic graphics templates that you can just open and then you can work with it so they are all background so you can start working from so if you click on my project it's just the same thing as opening that plv from the menu from that uh, default menu so now um, we go here down here is just uh, is opening all this stuff for your templates so it's just a list of templates and then here is your text so this is where you work with all the text the formatting you change your fonts and colors so if we click on a set and then we click on um, text it should be able to bring it so you can delete and then you can type um, TC which is my name and then you can click ok so increase the size it's your choice to increase using this button you can use your hand actually so don't say ah uh, he's having a mouse or he's using mouse and what if I don't have so you can use your hand and then you hold it so and then drag and drop Again, whatever so when you click your when you click on a text these are the how the options appear when you're working on text you understand so it's actually very beautiful so you can click on styles to see browse and then you see sample of styles here then my styles do you have anyone saved you can edit the text which will take you back to wherever you are coming from you can delete the text you can copy the text you can send to front you can send to back you can um, go to uh, movement you can move it anywhere you want to move it if you're clinking this and this and this one this one so you can equally do that so that is that and then uh, that is this button actually okay we're going to treat that but let me just cover it so when you click on this it's just showing how far it can move you understand if you take a step it should move how far it can move you understand when you click if you reduce it look at how it's moving smoothly you understand so start jumping start jumping start jumping so that is how it works so guys um, that's it so we have a um, position that is uh, sorry that's movement and then we have relative position that is alignment to art board when i'm talking about art board i mean this square is your drawing board so that's your art board so you can align a vertical horizontal and then top then left right bottom okay so that is that so the mark button is to say okay to hit this one is to cancel so we have size you can decide to increase your size using this button so you know the size of the size of pieces of amount of text the size of the pieces you going to use so this is padding where it talks about um, the padding of the text um, right and left so so this is rotation and let's consider so we go to color here then you can see this is colors when you click the first choice here selected here by default is color so you can just a single color you can just click on any of that and then use it if you click on the bottom is um, gradient you can select so we will teach you how to work with gradient fields later so guys that is how that works and then we have texture where you can insert texture in your um in your text so so just click there and then okay so you can see let's change to that texture so you can see enable ratio enabling ratio is just that the size of the picture will be the same will fit into the text so that's that you click ok and then we have opacity that's the visibility of the text how visible you want it to be okay you can enable shadow effect shadow sorry not 
shadows actually it's just um to make it not blend into the enter into the background so this is rotation you can rotate your text to however degrees you want so so zero and then we have mask where you can decide to cut a part of the text out you can decide to use in or out that is in is talking about what is in the text and outside your your bezier um, your mask uh, tool so when you click out is what is inside your bezier tool but outside will be cut out so this all, all this will be taught the mask um, effect, um, the mask will be taught thoroughly so this is fonts you can change the fonts here and then that is that so you can change the style which is bold italic on the line and the rest so you can come here to curve takes and decide to curve it for anything you want to do so you can curve the takes and and that is that so the background of the text you want it to have a highlighting background or gradient whatever however you want it to be you can just do that so we have alignment we have center um we have left center right and justify you know what that means so we have a uh, line spacing that is the space between the lines so that is that is one line so you will know that so stroke and the rest so i don't need to teach t the end but we'll teach treat some of them that need to be treated one after the other and then we have the shape and picture uh, menu where anything once you are working with a picture you're going to be working here so when you click on this tab it will bring all the options available to the selected so let's add a picture and see what it does so from gallery, from gallery and then we import this now let's import this okay so you can see the options we select in the crop to center whatever the same options that we are available on text are available here you understand so color filters saturation contrast hue brightness contrast and the rest so we have stroke we have eraser where you can remove the background of the picture we have the mask the erase color and the rest so that is that and then we have the background menu here where if we don't have and decide to change the background from this picture of anointing oil and decide to use color there so instead of the anointing oil we can have color you can decide to have a gradient so it depends on what you want to work with you can see how it looks like so and then here we have adding some noise and the rest of things brightness to the background so this is all about customizing the background so i think introduction is complete so guys you can add uh, strips and the rest you can enable and you see the background has some strips around and you can turn to add noise and then enable noise and you can see a lot of noise in the background so you can close that you can decide to make it um, to enable this picnic uh, and then you're going to see how it works it's just going to add a darker um, dark a darker color around your graphic so you can do that you can decide to rotate so with that and then the brightness contrast your saturation and the rest so it's all about color balancing so thank you guys complete introduction to the PZ Lab app and my name is Tise and I remain your host. Thank you guys. Have a nice time.